Yo, what's up everybody, it's Troz, and today I've decided to make a tutorial on the most optimal binds for Fortnite. I know there's been a million other videos on the same damn topic, but they usually get one thing wrong, which is movement and weapon binds. So I created the best possible binds to fix these issues, so let's get rolling. We're going to be starting this off with building and editing, then we'll get into movement and weapon binds. So the keybinds you're going to want to use for building is left shift, V, mouse 4 and mouse 5. Mouse 4 and mouse 5 are your side buttons by the way. It doesn't matter what keys you have these builds bound to, just make sure that you're using all of these keys. Uh, if you're not sure what to use, I'd recommend V for floor, mouse 4 for ramp, mouse 5 for wall, and left shift for cone. Now with the biggest change to building that we're going to have here is placing builds with right click. This helps you split up the load of clicking to place builds and editing between both fingers instead of having it all on one. It also gives you a slight advantage with turbo building and just placing shit. This wasn't very difficult to learn, I had it down within the first maybe day or two. Now for our edit binds we'll be using E to edit and scroll wheel reset. If you don't know how to do scroll wheel reset, copy this. So it selects building edit with mouse wheel down. So you want to click on that, mouse wheel down. And reset, mouse wheel down. What this does basically is that selects the edit, that resets it on the second scroll, then it confirms it on the third. E is also in the middle of all of my weapon binds so that makes it great to get to I'm pulling out a weapon and editing now we're on to movement this is going to be the biggest change for your binds instead of moving with WASD we're going to be changing this to WAS and caps lock the reason this is better is because it frees up your pointer finger for edit you also do not need two fingers to move left and right as you will never need to press them at the same time also, caps lock is move right even though it's on the left because you've only got one bind to get used to that way. Even if it's on the left, it won't mess with your memory and it won't really confuse you. I had this down quite well within the first four days and I got perfect movement within about uh, two weeks and I've surpassed where I was before within about a month. And I almost forgot, for crouch we're going to have C or control or even both um, I just prefer to have both so I can spam them I'll press control C and space to spam crouch uh, it works quite well for me now we're onto weapon binds you might notice harvesting tools on D uh, which will really really confuse you at first since you've just switched off it switched off it for movement that is by the way and I have weapon sort 1 on F which is my shotgun. Uh, you could switch D and F back to front if you would like, but it doesn't really change much. And then for weapon slot 2, 3, and 4, you're going to have the keybinds 3, 4, and 5. Then for weapon slot 5, you would mouse wheel up. The reason why you don't use keybinds 1, 2, or tab is because that means you need to take your ring finger off your movement key, so you can't move left and right while you switch weapons. I think that honestly covers just about everything, but I'm going to show you guys some retakes that these binds have made much, much easier. That's got to be the end of my video there. I think I've covered everything and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, sub, share with your friends. Peace.